In this video, we're going to add graphics to cells in a table. We're going to make a table using the text only icon here. You'll see why a little later. Drag out our base frame. I'll center the cursor horizontally and vertically. Go to frames, make a table. Use this cell as the base size. I want three across and five down. Click OK. While everything is highlighted here, I'll set the font size to be 36. I happen to know that'll look quite good a little later. We're now going to put graphics in the cells down this side, this right hand column here of the grid. Just as before, we open the graphics browser and I'm going to put various items of clothing in these five cells down here. So I'll go to clothes and in the top one I'm going to add a shirt. Here's a shirt. Click on it here, it highlights. Click in the cell and in it goes. In the next one I'm going to put a hat, no matter what sort of hat, this hat will be fine, put it there, then some gloves, then we'll find a shoe, and lastly a dress. So to put the graphics in is very simple, just as before, you click in the graphics browser, highlight the graphic you want, and then click in the cell where you want that graphic to go and the graphic automatically sizes itself to fill the cell there. Now on the side here we made these as texts so I can actually create a word to picture matching activity by typing in the appropriate text in the cells here so we can put in gloves, dress, shirt, hat, and lastly shoe. Now when we have an activity of this sort, the student would normally want to draw arrows connecting gloves to gloves and dress to dress. So we don't really want this central set of cells down the middle here. We have done this before, but this will be a reminder as to how you can do this. To delete a set of cells here, we need to be in adjust mode. Then we can highlight all of these cells and press delete and delete them. The simplest way is to right button click in one of the cells, which highlights that cells, and then just try and make a tiny adjustment to the width, which automatically then highlights all the cells so that their width can be adjusted. But at the same time it's conveniently highlighted them so I can now press delete. It asks me am I sure I want to delete all these frames? Yes I do. So it will delete the frames leaving an empty column down the center. This is different from deleting the actual column. If we deleted the column then the first column gloves would be right next to the column with all the graphics. What we want to do is not delete the column, but to delete all the frames in the column, which that technique does. So here we've made really quite a nice little activity, whilst at the same time learning that you can put graphics in a cell simply by clicking and then clicking in the cell. And a reminder of some of the other things that we've learnt earlier.